Well, over in the Philippines, the country has reported it's the first coronavirus death outside of China on Sunday. The deceased is a 44-year-old Chinese national from Wuhan. Mm -hmm. And he had traveled to the Philippines with his companion, who was also confirmed to be infected. Yeah, the country uh, doesn't have any more confirmed cases other than these two. Uh, for the latest, we are joined by CNA's Abuena Bernal in Manila. So, Abuena, uh, what has been the reaction in the country to this first fatality reported outside of China? There is concern, of course. You have to understand that this 44-year-old uh, patient, uh, male patient from Wuhan, arrived in the Philippines January 21, and his case was only confirmed and revealed to the public by health authorities uh, Sunday, February 2. That's a 12-day window from the date he arrived to the confirmation and uh, to the public announcement. And, of course, that 12-day window could be due to the waiting period uh, in terms of the results of his test to confirm that he indeed has the 2019 novel coronavirus. But we, what we do know is that there was a nine-day period uh, from the date that he arrived in the Philippines to the date that contact tracing was done. That is the process by which authorities uh, try to reach out to the people he could have com come in contact with to inform them of the precautionary measures needed. Uh, given uh, the situation, uh, the contact tracing uh, started January 30. That was the date when uh, the first uh, 2019 novel coronavirus uh, case was confirmed in the Philippines, and that is the 38-year-old female companion of this uh, patient. Uh, of course, the crucial days here are uh, January 21 to January 25. That's the date of their arrival to the date when the male patient was admitted to the hospital, wherein they could have come in contact with locals or staff who served them. But the health department is saying that they have uh, imposed strict isolation protocol since uh, the admission of the male patient to the local hospital, uh, to the local government hospital. The health department is also saying that it is already coordinating with the Chinese embassy in Manila in terms of scheduling the cremation of his remains. Health authorities said that they are following protocol uh, in cases when patients uh, die of infectious diseases, and that is by uh, burning, uh, bur burying, I should say, cremating or disposing of the body as soon as possible. The plan is to ship back the cremated remains uh, back to China. A few things to note about this case. Uh, number one, Dr. Rabi Abayasinghe of the World Health Organization said that this is not locally acquired. The man uh, came from the epicenter of the disease. And uh, Francisco Duque III, who is the health secretary of the Philippines, also explains uh, that there is still no uh, community spread of the 2019 novel coronavirus in the Philippines. And uh, he said uh, that uh, this patient also had other complications, uh, as uh, many other elderly patients who died in China uh, who, also, who, who already had the 2019 novel coronavirus. And lastly, that there were signs of recovery of this patient, but, but that in the last 24 hours before his death, uh, that uh, his pneumonia and his condition uh, deteriorated. Good to know that the, we're not seeing the community spread, Buena, but I mean, I can imagine the authorities must be, uh, you know, taking every measure to sort of prevent the spread of this virus. Talk to us about some of these measures. Well, the, uh, the travel restriction has already been expanded uh, for all foreigners who had traveled uh, from China, as well as its uh, special administrative regions. This is despite, of course, criticism from Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, saying that such travel restrictions are an overreaction. The health department is also providing regular updates and public advisories. Local hospitals are implementing what is called a, a triage for the uh, an algorithm in relation to patients suspected with the 2019 novel coronavirus. There are tents uh, right outside the emergency rooms where they will first uh, be uh, treated. Um, there are also... Um uh, what, what, what the health department says are... Um, uh, 
this quarantine, a separate quarantine tents for these suspected uh, cases. Uh, and of course, the health department is saying that they are scaling up the containment efforts, that these efforts and plans will be recalibrated as uh, uh, the, the situation progresses so that uh, it's important uh, for the public to tune in to these official advisories from both the health department and the World Health Organization.